Comedy Central Stand Up presents Vanessa Gonzalez. Give it up for Vanessa Gonzalez. I'll do this all day. Now, y'all can keep clapping for me because I didn't wear a bra to work all week. <laughs> oh, so good. I'm a preschool teacher. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they don't check. They don't check there at all. <laughs> it's nice. I work for a very hippy-dippy preschool. I should tell you, uh, I'm just a preschool teacher. I'm not a mom. I just like the mom look. So we're, <laughs> we're all on the same page. All right. The other week, my preschool decided to have muffins for mom's day. Because moms need muffins, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you know this. So I didn't know it was fucking muffins for mom's day. I don't read my work emails. <laughs> Especially if the subject line says muffins, that's trash to me. <laughs> so I get to work, I see a mound of muffins in the break room, and I'm like, hell yeah, second breakfast. <laughs> This is gonna be awesome. I grab the top muffin from the mound, the, the prettiest one. I grab it, I smell it, I turn around, and my boss stops me. She's right here. And she goes, um, excuse me, but um, those are just for moms. I drop the muffin slow motion to the ground. <laughs> I was like, what kind of Trump's America bullshit is this? <laughs> huh? Oh, you're, you're building a wall of muffins now? <laughs> I knocked over the wall of muffins. I was like, I can't have a muffin because I'm not a mom? Even though I'm with these kids more than the moms? More than the moms. Yeah. More than the moms. All damn day, all damn week, I can't have a muffin? I'm with these kids so much that they call me mom. Yeah. They call me mom. I have 10 three-year-olds and they all call me mom. And do you know why? Because every day before they go home, I kiss them on their cheeks and I say, bye, I'm your mom. <laughs> Don't listen to the lady in the yoga pants. Yo soy tu mamá. <laughs> and they believe me. <laughs> they believe me. They walk out of there and they go, bye, mom. <laughs> oh, when they call me mom in front of the real mom? Mm -mm. <sighs> it's what keeps me coming back every day. <laughs> Makes that $9 an hour worth it. I love it. I love that moment with the mom where I'm just like, <laughs> did she call me mom again? <laughs> I don't know why she keeps doing that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she's with me more. She has eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. She's dumb. She's dumb. <laughs> my mom's real close to getting cut out of my life. Yeah, because she lies a lot. She lies a lot. I'm trying to catch her in a big lie, though. 
trying to get her good. <laughs> so the big lie I'm trying to catch her in is that, um, well, my parents have been married for 41 years together the whole time, right? Yeah. Um, you might want to wait on the claps <laughs> till you hear the whole story. They've been together that whole time, and I have an older brother, and then there's me, and then we have a younger brother. And my younger brother for sure has a different dad than us. <laughs> It's like obvious. <laughs> he doesn't look like us. He doesn't act like us. It's like the Gonzaleses, you know, like we're all brown and he's super light skin, right? The Gonzaleses, we're all chubby, he's super skinny. The Gonzaleses, we're all dumb and he could say the word simultaneously. <laughs> like. <laughs> That's genes we don't have. I don't know who your dad is talking all like an astronaut or whatever. I know how my dad talks and he doesn't talk like that. So I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna confront my mom, right? I'm a grown ass woman. I'm just gonna go up to her and confront her. So I did. I said, mom. Woman a woman, okay? You're a grown ass woman, I'm a grown ass woman. You fuck, I fuck, we both fuck. <laughs> Just tell me the truth. Did you have an affair 25 years ago? And she looks me in my eyes and she goes, Vanessa, <laughs> Vanessa, I swear to God, okay? I swear to God on Grammy's grave, okay? I swear to God, I don't remember. Can we go to church now, please? <laughs> and I guess I believe her. <laughs> I mean, case closed on that. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna find out. We're not gonna do DNA testing. We can't afford that. <laughs> I feel like only my white friends get that and they're always just like, oh my God, look how white I am. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> and we're like, yeah, we knew. <laughs> we all knew. <laughs> I'm in my 30s and I have my first boyfriend ever. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. My mom's super excited about it. She calls me every day and she's all, do you still have a boyfriend? <laughs> do you still have a boyfriend? And I'm like, yes, he's still my boyfriend. We're still good. And her second question is always, are you pregnant yet? <laughs> are you pregnant yet? You're not? Well, um, maybe you need to go get checked because um, I read an article that <laughs> women who eat a lot of chicken nuggets, um, they can't have babies anymore because of the chicken nuggets. No, seriously, truly, um, scientists have scientifically studied <laughs> and they found that the chicken nuggets um, mess up down there real bad. <laughs> and well, you know, I don't wanna name names, but you eat a lot of chicken nuggets. <laughs> I 
I'm like, yeah, these are facts. <laughs> but then I thought about it, and if it is true, and chicken nuggets do prevent pregnancy, that's awesome. <laughs> right? Right? Then I could just pick up a 20 piece for the month. You know what I mean? Pop a nug every day. If you skip a day, two nugs the next day. What? I'm already eating chicken nuggets all the time. Now I'm preventing pregnancy too. You know, simultaneously, it's awesome. <laughs> It's awesome. And, and you bet your ass you still gotta dip them because that's what activates it. <laughs> the barbecue and the honey mustard make the babies not grow. <laughs> My boyfriend's like, uh, should I wear a condom? And I'm like, <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> I ate double the chicken nuggets this month. <laughs> Let them fly. <laughs> Don't try that though, wear condoms. <laughs> For sure wear condoms. <laughs> My boyfriend and I's relationship is getting more serious. He just bought me underwear, which is a big deal. Yeah, that's big, right? I was freaking out because up until this point, my mom is the only person who's ever bought me underwear. <laughs> and now some dude is buying me underwear? I was freaking out. I, I wasn't even expecting it either. I got home from work and he's like, hey boo, I bought you underwear. And I was like, okay. Uh, I mean, I wasn't expecting to have sex today, but you know what? I took an improv class once and I could handle. <laughs> so I was like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God. A guy just bought me underwear. This has to be the sexiest moment of all time. This is gonna be the hottest sex I've ever had. I'm gonna have to like put the underwear on in front of him all sexy. Maybe he puts them on for me. That's too much like I'm a baby. I'll put them on myself. I'll put them on myself cause I'm a big girl. And then I have to like model them all, you know, sexy in front of him <laughs> and do like sexy like poses, <laughs> you know, get the line right here somehow. I don't even know how people do that. And I was like, oh, I know, I'll turn off all the lights and I'll light a bunch of candles. And then I remembered I only have one candle. <laughs> It's a Virgin Mary candle. <laughs> and I don't wanna wake her up for this. <laughs> she doesn't need to know. So I was like, you know what, Vanessa, calm down. You know, take a breath. Just go over to the gift bag, open them up, go from there, right? So that's what I did. I like walked over to the bag all sexy. And I grab the underwear, I take them out of the bag. First thing I notice is how giant they are. <laughs> yeah, he overshot my size big time. <laughs> I thought I was about to have the hottest sex of my life, but now we gotta talk about why these underwear are so big, bro. You saw these and you were like, that's my boo. <laughs> She's definitely fitted sheet size. 
Then I look at the material, and they're not even like sexy underwear, you know, like lacy, like what do you call like negligence? They're. <laughs> no. They're pizza print. <laughs> yeah. Pizza print. And not even like a bunch of little pizzas, you know, like pizza party. No. This was like my whole ass would be a fully loaded meat lover's pizza. So I got a little discouraged, you know. I was like, damn it, I wanted to have sex. But then I was like, okay, I know, I know. I devised a quick plan. And I was like, I know, I'll put on the giant underwear, they'll slip off my body, and I'll be like, oh no. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened though? <laughs> what are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do now. <laughs> so I was like, yes, that's a great plan. I got, you know, rehorned up. <laughs> and I grabbed the underwear. I put them on. They fit like a glove, guys. <laughs> These were the most comfortable <laughs> underwear I've ever known. <sighs> so I'm standing there with these pizza underwear on, just looking at them. And I just go, well, <laughs> You gonna eat this pizza or what? <laughs> hmm? I like having sex with a, a little bit of music in the background, you know, set the mood. My favorite song to have sex to is, I'm never gonna dance again <laughs> the way I dance with you. Ooh. Gets things going every time, guys. So the other night, you know, me and my boyfriend were fooling around. The song's on. I'm going down on him down there. And the song's on that part. I'm never gonna dance again the way I dance with you. And then it goes into the most epic saxophone solo of all time. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm going down on him down there. And it's on the saxophone part. <laughs> and I didn't want to. <laughs> but I had to. <laughs> Banana. I put sunglasses on. <laughs> and he taps me on the shoulder. <laughs> and he goes, are you blowing into my penis? <laughs> so in my head, I was like, you know, like Lisa Simpson, <laughs> killing it. But in real life, I'm just going
on a penis. <laughs> so I just looked at him and I was like, uh, you don't like that? <laughs> and he's like, I guess. It's just that the buttons are throwing me off. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>